Hello lovely people I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 7 on Project Zanji. Alright, so we are back at site. We are still working. If you, remember, if you recall uh, in episode 6, we started with the perimeter fence wall. Um, this project has a three plot. And the beautiful house, as you've seen on the screen now, is situated on one plot. And so there's one plot at the front and one at the back. This is a 3D representation of the beautiful four-bedroom house designed by Jonathan Tete. If you need any of the designs, please contact Jonathan and he will assist you with all kinds of designs. Okay, and this helps you to really understand the physique look of your house when it is completed. All right, so back at site. The team is working. We are doing the laterite filling, okay, for the main footings. We need to top it up. We keep pouring water and then it settles down and then we have to top up the laterite until we are completely satisfied with the compacting of the laterite before the next stage of the project proceeds okay in case you need a borehole driller please contact my cousin mr jonathan for your borehole drilling okay reverse osmosis water treatment sales of all kinds of pumps if you need to talk to him for water consultation please do and he will assist you okay so this area is left we need to fill here with the latrite okay make sure it settles down properly that is the most important thing. When it gets to this stage, I usually don't rush the project just because I want to finish quickly and prove a point. No, this is the time you need to really stay back and make sure that you constantly pour water, top up the laterite and allow it to settle down naturally. You don't have to force it. And when you keep pouring water, for consecutive three three weeks i think that should be enough two to three weeks is enough to ensure that the laterite has settled down properly look at the bitumen painting a very thick one to make sure that everything stays in there forever understand so best procedure take your time allow the laterite to settle down properly okay and then keep pouring water top up the laterite and then bring the compactor to do the compacting okay so in the meantime we are still working on the perimeter fence wall should anybody need solar system okay please contact uh, mr emmanuel the numbers on your screen he deals in all kinds of solar systems, solar water heater, solar panel inverters. Okay, he, they do the installation. So please contact him. He is on Instagram on Swiss Oasis Solar Energy. Okay, switch Oasis Solar Energy. Contact him and he will assist you. Okay, so on this project, we are fully loaded. We have our own generator. We have our own borehole dag. Okay, and now we are putting up our perimeter fence wall. Okay, we are putting up our perimeter fence wall. Okay, so that's it. basically that's what you are seeing. So we did the foundation concrete cast for the perimeter fence wall, and then that portion of the fence wall is already up. Okay, so I'll be taking you there to see the progress of work so far. So far you can see we poured water on it and you can see it's already settling down. You can see all those places, you understand? Keep settling down. So we are working on both sides, yes. And in the meantime, the perimeter fence wall is also ongoing. We are reaching a height of eight feet, which usually is about 10 coasts. 2.4 meters high we're using six inches block it's a quarry dust solid one not a hollow one 
it's a solid quarry dust six inches i'm repeating it because someone will definitely ask me what type of block did you use okay so i'm repeating them we use six inches solid quarry dust and there is reinforcement the iron rod is 12 mm for the intermittent pillars for the front pillars which usually is the gate pillar those are usually big so we use 16 mm for those and that is not even that much sometimes six pieces sometimes nine pieces sometimes 12 pieces depending on the quantity of gauge that should be available okay yes if you have more maybe the still metal want to use it for other purposes either for the mat and for the pillars or there's a design somewhere okay so here we created this space to convey our materials to and fro but eventually we will turn it into a gate okay yes it was easy for us to you know commute from here onto the land okay you know as much as we would like to go all the way from the back that's a long distance so the fencing is coming up nicely it's coming up nicely okay so every 10 feet there is a pillar every 10 feet there is a pillar and so far so good everything is looking good i did mention that um in my new estimate that i'll be preparing for fence wall i'll be adding bitumen so please don't tell me it's expensive all i'm trying to do is to protect the work that we are doing and protect you as well so bitumen i'll be adding bitumen to my next estimate after the dpm waterproof chemical i have to add dpm and um, bitumen so that we paint the bottom of the fence we have to paint it with a waterproof coating if not even though we've done this you will still experience some mold because mold can be from the side so we will paint it from underneath the block work all the way up to the surface of the land just a little bit above the surface of the land and that's all okay so that we can protect the side and side both the inside and an outside um, wall we need to protect it so um, even this one in the future as i mentioned before we do any plastering we will go back and do those painting okay bitumens are quite expensive we have a thousand per bucket some are going for 850 per bucket and then some you have to mix it with water those one the um i don't like the, the quality but the one that you have to mix with thinner that i like so much so you imagine buying those um bucket a thousand or 850 per bucket and then have to buy thinner thinner is around maybe 150 or 130 ghana cities per thinner which is a small gallon you need to mix it with the bitumen waterproof to to soften it before you can paint you understand so here we are having the main entrance gate there is a curve to it or a chamfers it chamfers a little bit because the client won a situation where when you're entering the house um, the vehicle will not look as though it's still on the road you understand so the fence wall is going to curve a little bit from here okay yes it's going to curve about maybe 45 angle or 30 degrees angle okay so that here is going to be another pillar which is a very huge one you understand a huge one and the, the width of this gate is 18 feet yes we chose 18 feet because we want to make it a big gate and then once it opens it opens all kinds of vehicle will come in okay so it's no joke here at all no joke here at all so we are moving forward yes putting up the fence wall and making that we secure the property for our client in the meantime the footings is also looking nice okay the footing is also looking nice everything that we bought for her belongs to her it doesn't go anywhere so once we are done Maybe we can put up a small storage area 
where she can keep all those materials there in case in the future she want to use it for something else yes yeah, sure she will use it okay so this is how high how tall our fencing is looking it looks beautiful now we're going to wait for the carpenter to come and do the boarding and then we cast the pillars it looks beautiful isn't it it looks beautiful oh every work attach passion you know good heart determination consistency for me i believe in consistency because we keep improving from one project to the other from one project to the other we learn from our mistakes and we improve and that is our determination that is our goal my goal has always been to help people build their dream homes because <laughs> three years before the youtube space was not like this i i said i revolutionized the youtube space because before those that came before me they were just putting up their house and they make a video of it yet yeah, it, it inspired some of us i watched some of those videos what i was looking for you know people like houses building in ghana i keep searching youtube and i only got few videos and i said no after my disappointment many times i said i'm here to change i'm here to make a change so i started with my house and from my house ideas keep coming and changing ideas keep coming and now it has become a business venture where we build houses for people through the same ideology of making sure that they don't get scammed their money is safe and they can build wherever they are they don't necessarily have to be there but they can monitor things from a distance people have factories in china their offices are in america okay their factories are in china so you can trade wherever you are you don't have to be there all the time you can trade once you know you're dealing with a genuine company you can trade you can buy and ship people are shipping stuff from china and they've not even been to china and they are shipping items from there to Ghana. So why can't you build your house in the same order? Find the right people, competent enough to build your dream house without necessarily being there. If you want to be there, that's fine. Nobody will restrict you. But must you be there all the time, every year buy tickets and come, every year buy tickets and come? No. There are some people who perhaps it's just a small house they want to do it all by themselves you realize that you end up making a whole lot of mistakes get someone who really understand construction let them also build so that everybody will get a bit of the cake yes you have to share share the wealth because one person you can be a jack of all trade yeah there should be a cleaner there should be someone who wash the car there should be someone who come and clean the house there should be a mason there should be a carpenter you cannot be a contractor at the same time when you are working at the bank you understand so try to release uh -huh, so that the universe will distribute the money for everybody okay so this is how far we have come with this project okay on episode seven i'll be coming your way with episode eight kindly sit buckle up and watch us change the narrative okay my name is mr bright and from me to you shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye